finally got everything transferred over to the new bin. I think next time I'm going to use my child labor. Won't have him for very, very many more years. But anyway, there you got it. That's a good rotation. Got it wetted down again. Let it heat up. We'll change it by another five or seven days. Also have my small bowl. I seen a couple of black soldier flies yesterday and I was trying to attract them. So I'm gonna set that right there. And I have, I set this up, but I don't think it's gonna work because when the sides get wet, the larva, they'll just crawl up out of there. So probably going to have to scrap this deal. There's my old soldier fly. One of them from last year. Same thing though. The, the sides would get wet and they crawl right out. So got to come up with the design change. There's my turtles here. Got a couple couple little frogs. Got them some water little pool here. We got a few catfish, goldfish and uh crawdads in there we throw in mealworms a lot of mealworms in there they're fat I might as well show you my garden while I'm here this will be the first pictures this year first video anyway got some uh, different kind of sunflowers the first row now I got some sweet corn three rows a few rows of beans tomatoes peppers this stuff right here is uh, some goat bedding that I got and that's what I've been making a compost pile with and uh, so we're going to try that. My peas aren't looking real, real good. There's my okra. Got some onions. Got a few watermelon out there. I don't think you can see them very well. We've had the garden, I guess, about a month, I think. There's some squash and zucchini, and then potatoes. So, it's a pretty good sized garden. And uh, my plans are to get the rest of it covered with the straw. So, all right guys. Talk at you later, give you another update there on the compost pile, how it's coming along in a couple weeks later.